You have to notice some of your co-workers taking a two-hour lunch today. It might not have been a coincidence that it equals about 92 minutes of playing time. Or continue our World Cup coverage. John Batten shows us what caused the lunch lingering today. Johnny's Tavern opened a little early today. They knew they'd be welcoming some die-hard soccer fans to watch the U.S. women take on France for the chance to go to the World Cup final. Especially in the aftermath of a spectacular win over Brazil. The game that we saw on Sunday was probably the best game I've ever seen in my life. And these fans were hungry for more glory. I'm hoping that we have continued success against France and then on to the final. It would be the greatest thing ever. As the place filled up, that sentiment was repeated among the crowd at 810 Sports Zone, especially those who were there to watch their heroes rise to the challenge. Um, it's really fun, and I really want to win. Although there were some tense moments. We were both nervous watching the game, thinking that we weren't going to be able to pull it out. Oh, the whole middle, the whole middle. We were very worried. Like a fairy tale, in the end, wishes were granted and dreams came true. And it's awesome. Today's my birthday, so it's the best birthday gift I could have. Makes me want to go play soccer. As the U.S. women head to the final, the next generation heads to the soccer pitch. John Batten, NBC Action News. Well, the U.S. national women's team will face Japan at 1.45 our time on Sunday. There'll be a big watch party at Livestrong Sporting Park in case.